this man, I would do my part. Yet more I can I give him, give my heart. Okay, Madrigal Choir, the first Noel. Hello, welcome to First Friday in Review. And what an exciting month it was in downtown Binghamton for the first Friday Art Walk on the 5th of December. That's right. And we're so glad that you could join us because we will be presenting you Home for the Holidays, starring the Robertson Museum and Science Center. We also went to Joseph Cotillo's rendition at Main Street Baptist. If you're stopping through Binghamton, through routes 81, 86, or 88, then be sure to stop by Robertson. Experience all of our Christmas trees through December and through the rest of the year, our unique, a wide span of exhibits. My name is Anne Glasgow and this is Home for the Holidays. for Home for the Holidays. We like to celebrate not only our community, but also the many holiday celebrations from around the world. Um, our Home for the Holidays International Forest is a community curated exhibit. And so many different people who have come from all over have set up their own holiday traditions. We have the Czech Republic, we have a Hanukkah display, the Hajj, Diwali, as well as many Christian and Christmas celebrations. Experiencing the colors of the rainbow, <laughs> and then we have or if we are experiencing pure darkness, have peace in each moment. It makes no difference whoever you are. However, your experience of the light is, and how you gather it. In addition to our international forest, we also like to showcase our independent businesses. We have the Tri-Cities Opera has set up a Christmas tree. We have the Girl Scouts, the quilting demonstration, local restaurants, and many more. Bye. 
will be full of peace and joy. Because I remember the Depression days. So well, we knew we didn't have much of anything. How did you feel, though, when you had enough to eat at dinner time? Very blessed. Very blessed to have enough to eat. Was it somebody in your family that was always able to bring over food? Yes. Did you ever face a shortage? <laughs> well, I don't think we actually met hungry, but there was times when there was only just the necessary things like potatoes and things that were absolutely necessary and a few vegetables maybe. There wasn't hardly any meat or any desserts or all the lovely things that you can go to the store and buy now. But I think when you get older, you don't eat as much meat and you don't require as much meat. Like you say. In the stores today, they are preservatives, preservatives and chemicals, and artificial flavoring, mm -hmm. food coloring. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes people even buy the thing in the grocery store, like a Wheaties box, because of the artwork. And that's what a grocery store becomes an art exhibit rather than, like, <laughs> than a place that yeah. people go to yeah, that's purchase true. food. That's true, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we used to eat shredded meat, cornflakes. Yeah. yeah. And then my grandchildren. Right, three years old. I don't know how to do this. And uh, has it been getting better and better every year? Yes. I'm going to check your energy centers. We have seven major chakras, and each one is connected with major organs. Then there's one about two inches above your belly button, and that is your solar plexus. It's connected with things like your liver and your spleen, your stomach, your gallbladder, your pancreas, all those organs. Each, each piece, its final form is precisely what I was after in the beginning. They're, they're accurately represent what was conceived. It's just the shape that attracts me first of all. The shapes that I haven't done before, and when I come up with one that I'm really attracted to, I then conceive a construction of that shape that best fits that shape that I haven't done before. I've, uh, I've perfected technique on the joinery to make sure all those gaps are closed. It's a lot of hand refining, it's a lot of hand work which is done into all this, and a lot of precision planning in order to execute it. The reason the, the pieces are so different one from the other is that it's, uh, I designed that into it, the challenge. It keeps me motivated for each piece to be completely different. What do I call it? And uh, uh, something Well, it's under the name of Wood Creations, is my website. And uh, what I call it is uh, Sophisticated Elegance. It's all very highly refined pieces made out of just primarily cherry and black walnut. No, you've got the eye. Talent, everybody's got talent, you know. <laughs> everybody's a talented individual. And I think, uh, you know, it, it should stay that way, you know what I mean? It's just not everybody. Yeah, you know, it's about 40 minutes, I guess, from here to there. Easy to be too. Yeah, yeah, straight. Just right down. <laughs> straight run. I don't know. Um, I was going to say, you just, you asked me something, and it was, takes me a while, you know, to, <laughs> what did you ask me? See, this is across the street from my house. This is my very backyard, right by the brook, right behind that would be the, the creek, you know, that creek there. So that's a backyard thing. This is a back, across the street thing. This is up the block, and this is half knife and half brush. 
So I had to use the palette knife and I used the brush on that. And this is stone walls, you'll find them everywhere around there. Oh yeah. That's right in this little area. I also did a little vignette at the deposit pizza place called Little Italy or whatever. It was, this was place. the place to go on Friday night, yeah, and yeah. Saturday, Saturday. Like I said, it was like a biker bar, and they always had like hard rock bands, and you know, it wasn't like folk or something. It was, it was always something loud, you know. Yeah. And then there was an upstairs, up the stairs, and the head tables up there and things. And it was back in the 80s, you know. I I'd moved up here about 81 or whatever, and I guess that closed in 89 or something. I don't really know what time, mm -hmm. you know, what year it closed, but it was open for quite a while. There was a lot of police things going on there, and then drug dealing, and you know, all that kind of negative publicity. So I don't know. I think they either forced it to close, or you know, something happened. I don't know. I don't really know. I was just a customer. You know what I mean? Just check each one of your energy centers to see how balanced and open you are today. I'll tell you how I feel. I won't use numbers, but I'll use words to describe it. Okay, you can do that. I just use this pendulum to check things out for you. So you're pretty grounded already. And your sacral energy is good. These are all wheels. That's what chakra means. They're wheels of light. And then we have your solar plexus here. That's nice. Your heart chakra. You've got a nice open heart already. The throat is nice and open, relatively speaking. Tonight we found an enchanting spirit painter who does the, a serene and sincere caricature of a person's inner spirit. This is the true representation of a person's attitude and form when, as we say, they close their eyes and unfold their wings of the dreamscape. Have you ever had your spirit painted before? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I can paint with my spirit. I don't know. I guess it's kind of dreamy and atmospheric. It's about love, love gone horribly wrong. Okay, so you guys probably you have degrees in that. Whatever you come up with, be good. You put the same thing. Last one. Cast the 
Consider having your spirit painting done. If you would like any more information, please go to the website below. Connection, oh, can 
First Friday in Binghamton on December 5th, 2014, and we're delighted to be here. And as I said, I'm sitting next to one of the owners, Professor Richard Andrus. So, and we're chatting away here about forests and stuff, because that's what he's a real guru about. So, but we're also listening to Kurt Osgood and Annie Simpson playing endless folk music from all sorts of genres. where I can speak from the peace within me rather than the plans that I have laid from the previous day or the things that I would expect or suspect from other people's minds. I release all of my suspicion about other people and I'm able to speak in an honest manner about the things that dwell within me. And this can be a pattern of honesty for anyone to recognize. This was the Ut and the La. The La is a tuner that works with your cranial chakra. Um, if a person has any challenges with their eyes or their nose, this is the tuner that helps to release blockages in that area. So Learn how to sing in any scale they would like to sing in, including ones that have never been invented or heard before. When there is an energy blockage that goes too long in my body, it causes a depletion of the fertile resources inside of my own soul. How can I restore the relationship that I've had from the beginning before I was born? Now I'm starting with the highest and going down to the lowest in the front.
be vigilant because the Savior is coming. That's really the message. 